A guy is waiting for someone at the airport in Rome. He is very hungry, but with no money at all. A guy walks into an airport cafe. He sticks his finger randomly in the menu and orders a few soups. Once he's had enough to eat, he walks out. It turns out he's supposed to meet a girl. She walks by and recognizes him. Her uncle in Hong Kong is sick. So our hero comes to pick her up. Tang Lung promises that he will help her with her problem. Although he doesn't even know what it is. Together they get into Chen's car. Her father died recently and left her the restaurant. At first things were going well. But then a big syndicate appeared. Chen was forced to sell the restaurant and the land it stands on. So the gangsters became even more insistent. So she had to turn to her uncle. Lung promises he will deal with them. That's all he came for. She helps Lung exchange money for local currency. Chen teaches him good manners. If someone smiles at you, smile back. If someone puts a hand on your shoulder, it's a friendly gesture. The girl behind Chen does exactly the same. Lung leaves with the easygoing girl, mistaking her gestures for friendly ones. When she leads him to her room, he freaks out and runs away. Our hero goes back and meets Ah Quen, a restaurant worker. He takes him to Chen's restaurant. Uncle Wang is there too. They get acquainted, and Wang asks him about his stay in Rome. Ah Quen accompanies Lung to another member of the restaurant staff. They are practicing their martial arts. One of the men clearly doubts the power of Thai boxing. But our hero really likes Thai boxing. The employees ask him to demonstrate his skills. Lung refuses, afraid of hurting someone. It sounds intimidating. But the guys are interrupted. Next time. Our hero, for the umpteenth time, goes to the bathroom and meets a man. At this time, the bandits come into the restaurant and chase all the guests away. Their boss insists on selling the restaurant immediately. Wang persuades him to wait a little longer. The bandits leave. They are replaced by boorish men. They have a conflict with the staff. They go outside for a showdown. One of the staff guys gets knocked out with the first punch. Our hero decides to intervene. Two lightning fast leg kicks. The man is knocked out, Chen is delighted. Now the second striker. Our hero allows him to land a couple of punches. Not bad. But now a pair of punches from Lung. Knocked out again. There are two strikers left. In a sitting position, Lung knocks them down. As soon as they get up, they are sent into an instant knockout by our hero's leg. Wang fears that this will cause even more aggression from the bandits. But the restaurant workers are sure, they will think several times before attacking again. Chen accompanies our hero to his room. She seems to be starting to like him. A new day begins. Lung is already being called Brother Lung. The restaurant workers have already prepared breakfast for him. Everyone is ecstatic about his exploits from yesterday. Everyone recognizes the power of Thai boxing. Only one employee is skeptical of Lung's strength. Now our hero's job is to protect the restaurant. Lung goes back to his room with Chen. A man with a gun is already waiting for him inside. One deft move and he's already without a gun. A few strokes and he is unconscious. The final touches and he's out of the room. And the gun is somewhere in the street. The leader of the bandits is angry, the restaurant never passed into his hands. One of his servants justifies himself, it is all because of Lung, the new guard. Early in the morning Lung is training. Chen has prepared breakfast for him. She promises to show him Rome. Meanwhile, downstairs, bandits threaten all the people. They are armed. They have knives and pistols in their hands. They want the man from Hong Kong. But where is he? Lung is on a promise tour of Rome. Between words, she tries to find out, is he married? When they return to the restaurant, they are already waiting. Ambush. He is given a return ticket to Hong Kong. A foolish and naive decision. Our hero allows them a brief moment to cower. They take him outside. He knocks out the guy with the gun and grabs a stick. Two more. They don't even get to him in time. The guy with the gun wakes up and runs to report to his boss at the restaurant. Moments later, there's a mob of thugs outside. Lung picks up his nunchucks. After a few swift blows, half the gang is already lying on the floor. No one can even get close to him. Everyone is terrified. The last and most cowardly bandit tries to escape, but he is sent to the cold Roman tarmac with everyone else. Lung returns to the restaurant. The homemade darts come in handy. All of the bandits, except for the main ones, are out. The ringleader tries to escape, but you can't escape from our hero's nunchucks. Lung tells them not to come back. 
In the evening they have a meeting at the restaurant. Wang fears for the fate of the establishment. He understands Chen's feelings, but asks her to talk to Lung. He must not be in the restaurant the next day. Otherwise he will be killed. Chen comes to his room. She asks him to leave Rome for a while. At this time, a sniper aims for their window. Just a little more and he pulls the trigger. He pulls the trigger. Missed. That's enough for Lung to know what to do. A few minutes later, he's already in the same spot as the sniper. But the man has been waiting for him. He sees the doorknob turning and shoots. However, Lung still opens the door. He is unharmed. But the sniper is in trouble. But our hero decides not to run after him. Lucky. Back in his room, he doesn't find Chen. She is already a prisoner of the bandits. She is forced to sign an agreement to sell the restaurant. Despite threats of a knife, she does not agree. Chen waits for Lung. She is sure he will come. One of the gang laughs. The bandit is sure that Lung is already dead. At the same second, we hear a whistle, it's Lung. They're not here alone anymore. The guys in the restaurant are masterfully taking out the guards. While our hero is watching them, he gets hit. This makes him angry. A crowd of bandits line up around him in a circle. A series of quick kicks and no one else is around him. Lung walks toward the ringleader. A bandit jumps out from around the corner with a knife. He is afraid to even hold it pointed at Lung. Our hero approaches the ringleader one more time. The ringleader doesn't speak Chinese. Not a problem. Lung gestures. The ringleader is frightened and angry. His acolyte gives us an idea. He knows masters from two different schools. Japanese and European. But they will not agree to fight together. The ringleader interrupts him. Money will buy their agreement. He is offered a summons from a certain cult from America. The bandit does not even doubt that the cult will defeat our hero. The restaurant is celebrating the new year. Chen brings a telegram for Lung. It's his uncle. He asks Lung to go somewhere else. But our hero is not going anywhere until he solves all the problems in Rome. A servant of the bandit leader comes running into the restaurant. Pretending to apologize, he invites Lung to join them the next day. Someone comes out of the plane. It seems to be Colt. There's an argument going on in the gangster's office about who's going to fight Lung. Colt comes in. The ringleader informs him that Colt will fight our hero. The Japanese man is perplexed. Who could know karate better than the Japanese? Colt says nothing and invites him to a duel. The Japanese attacks Colt. However, he deflects all of his punches. And manages to land his own. Thus, not 10 seconds pass before the Japanese is on the floor. The ringleader stops them. The next day comes. The leader's servant takes them to the wasteland. It is a trap. The Jap and Colt's apprentice come at them. The restaurant guys fight them. Lung doesn't intervene. But the guys are quickly rendered unconscious. It's his turn to hit. Colt's apprentice proves to be very resilient. But he still doesn't land a single punch on Lung. And thanks to the same lightning fast leg kicks, he ends up on the ground. Now the Japanese. When he sees our hero, he immediately lunges at him. The Japanese tries to kick him. But Lung grabs him in a flying stance and throws him to the floor. Force of reaction. Now it's his turn to punch. After a few leg kicks, the Japanese man is ready to fall. But our hero holds him down and hits him with a jump shot. Surprisingly, the Japanese man gets up. But not for long. Lung knocks him down with a single punch. After another pathetic attempt to get up, the men from the restaurant run up and finish him off. Lung shouts to them to leave the Japanese if he admits defeat. The ringleader's servant calls out to Lung. Wang is left alone with the restaurant guys. Wang stealthily kills them. Before they die, he explains his actions. He betrayed them all for money. Tang Lung is still running after the servant. And comes to the Roman ruins. On top of them stands Colt himself. The servant's voice comes out. Tang Lung, the man you saw will kill you. And so, he and Colt find each other. They take off their clothes and prepare for the duel. This duel could cost one of them their lives. The warm-up is over. Now the duel itself. Lung begins. He unleashes a series of lightning fast leg kicks on Colt. But his opponent dodges every punch. And he punches himself. That knocks Lung off his feet for a second. After he gets up, he immediately tries to attack again. Once again he is knocked down by Colt's punches. When Lung gets up, he decides to change his tactics. Now he dodges rather than attacks. He learns Colt's moves. Finally, he manages to attack him. And so, Colt is already kissing the cold stone floor three times from Lung's leg kicks. Colt rises from the last of his strength. 
Lung lets him get up. But only to have him fall from his undercut. This angers Colt and gives him a second wind. He jumps up and pounces on Lung. But our hero nails him to the wall with his punches. Colt lies on the floor. His leg and arm are broken. He makes pathetic attempts to hit our hero. And throws himself into one last attack. Lung signals him not to do it. But Colt still attacks. Lung just has to defend himself. These were the last seconds of Colt's life. He is dead. Lung gets dressed and runs after the ringleader's henchman. The other one, on the other hand, runs away from him. He and Wang decide to cheat. Wang cuts himself with a knife, pretending to be wounded. While Lung is trying to deal with the servant, Wang wants to attack him. But the whole thing is interrupted by the ringleader. He arrives in a car and shoots everyone. Lung manages to escape. He hides behind a tree and throws darts at the ringleader. The police rescue everyone. They arrest the ringleader. Lung and Chen are standing in the cemetery. They have to say goodbye. Lung has to go. They awkwardly shake hands. And Khan says, in this world of guns and knives, he's going to need a lot of luck. Wherever he is. Lung walks away behind the skyline. 